John decided we should move in together. We ended up finding the perfect apartment. Can you imagine? I was 23, and my first living boyfriend was John Lennon. We took the bedroom, and we fixed up the guest room for Julian. It was an absolute joy and a pleasure. It was just Dad and me, and it was just a happy, happy time, especially in some of the photographs. Uh, you can see that May took of us, of Dad and I, together. That was a clip of the documentary, The Lost Weekend, a love story, which gives viewers an inside look into John Lennon's love life with his former girlfriend, May Pang. In the early 1970s, Pang worked as an assistant for Lennon and his wife, Yoko Ono, until the couple's marriage ran into trouble, and Yoko allegedly encouraged Pang to start dating him. The film details Pang's 18-month relationship with a legendary Beatle, and the film's subject and narrator joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us, May. This is, as I was explaining while we were teasing the segment, this is actually John Lennon's Lost Weekend uh, is actually a big Correct. part of, uh, of his life, and any Beatles fan will talk about it and also talk about you. Tell me, how did, how did it all come about? Well, it just happened one day. I was talking to Eve Branstein, one of the uh, filmmakers, um, director there, and um, she just happened to tell me, oh, I'm working on different things. And, and then uh, I turned around when she said, oh, I'm working on documentary, and I decided I wanted to do it. And there it was. Jen? And that's May, how it started. Se I'm six so years ago? Seven years mm -hmm. ago? May, I'm so curious. I mean, I, I have not obviously um, read this yet. I'm looking forward to it um, and, and watching more of what you've done here. But there's so much known about John Lennon and the Beatles. So many of us still love them so much. What do you think people misunderstand about him out there? I think they forget that he's, he was human. Uh, he had uh, frailties like everybody else, you know. He had ups and downs. He can get depressed. He could be happy. Um, you know, they forget that he was just a person like you and me. May, I, I have a far more salacious question. So hold on a second. Unpack this for us. You're working for John Lennon and Yoko Ono. You're the personal assistant. Their marriage runs into trouble. And Yoko Ono comes to you and says... What, will you take John Lennon off my hands for a little bit, and then you do? <laughs> just, well, just tell no, us the story. No, that did not happen that way. It's, it's a little, it was a little bit more than that. She came into the office and she said, listen, John's, John and I are not getting along, and he's going to start seeing other people. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, now we have another person in the X Factor here, and so... She turns to me and she looks at me and she goes, oh, by the way, I know you don't have a boyfriend. Maybe you should go out with John. And I looked at her and I went, you're not talking about me. I'm not interested. She goes, I know you're not, but I think you would be good for him. You would treat him nice. You would be kind to him. I said, but I'm not interested, was my line to her. And she said, I think you should go out with him. And she gets up and walks out of the office. Wow. Okay. All well, right. that sounded almost like... A direct order. I do notice in there, and it was so nice to see Julian uh, talking uh, lovingly about that time, because we usually hear about the Lost Weekend being, uh, uh, by the end, of course, a very dark time for John Lennon uh, with, with, with drugs, alcohol, uh, 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 nasty, self-destructive uh, streak, especially on the West Coast. Uh, but but there, there seems to be a loving side of, of that as well. And again, Julian, who had sort of been separated for, from him for a long time, looks like Julian really appreciated that time that you all were together. You know, I thought that it was time that uh, when they got together that it should be a, a fun, loving one. It had been for over three years. Um, when he was living in New York, he hadn't seen his son. And when it was decided that he should be coming, I thought uh, it was, you know, it was it was a good time. And Cynthia uh, accompanied him, and it gave twofold. It was one that he got together with with Julian again, and second that I gave closure, uh, gave John and Cynthia their time to have their closure of their relationship, which they never got. And did you feel like they got it? Cynthia is, of course, his uh, first wife. Absolutely. And she was very appreciative of the time that she was able to spend because all, all of a sudden after that, it was easy for him to speak to Cynthia without feeling, I don't want to speak to her and all this apprehensions. 
she, right. you know, it made life easier for him, as uh, for Julian as well. Well, the film is filled with so many uh, interesting, intimate stories about your time with John Lennon, including one moment of serendipity involving John and Paul. Let's take a look. I seem to be the guy in New York that all the Englishmen say hi to, you know. Oh, it is good, you know, it's mixed in town, Paul's in town, anybody comes, I love it, you know. Paul McCartney used to say, you know, come over to our house, and, and Ringo, and George, and Elton. Funny bit, we were trying to get in touch with Paul and Linda for dinner. We didn't reach them, we left them a message, and as we're coming up uh, 61st Street in the cab, we look over into the other cab, and it's Paul and Linda. And all of a sudden, we yell out, and the two Beatles, right, John and Paul, stick their heads out, and they're screaming at one another, saying, I'll talk to you later, and as the car's moving, they split. And it's wild to see that. Yeah, wild, wild to see that, May. Uh, also, really quickly, it's so interesting that Beatle fans thought throughout the early 70s that John and Paul hated each other. Of course, their interviews, they would say the nastiest things about each other, uh, starting out actually with the whole Let It Be sessions. But we, we got to see during Get Back uh, when the movie came on, you looked at those two and you thought, through the separation of 50 years. Oh, my God, they loved each other so much. You know, behind behind all the business problems, there was still a deep love between uh, Paul and John. It was really beautiful. It was great because they definitely can, they could say to each other to each other all the nasty things, but nobody else can because they all consider themselves brothers. So... I think everybody who has uh, siblings, they all know what that is like. Uh, yeah. And that's exactly the way it was. We never had any problems when they came over. And they were uh, visitors all the time at our place in New York City, all the time. All right. The documentary, The Lost Weekend, A Love Story, is now available on most major video on-demand platforms and Blu-ray. And that begins October 13th. May Pang, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate you being here. Th Thank you for having me. I know John would have loved to have been on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Greatly appreciated.